Former Vietnam prisoner of war Mike Christian owns and manages a Virginia Beach motel. Only these days, he's spending almost as much time managing the hostage crisis center out of the motel lobby. I wonder if the senator or yourself uh, is in receipt of an invitation for the rally on the 12th of April. For several weeks, Christian and a small group of volunteers have been trying, through posters and mass mailings, to organize a rally April 12th in Washington to show support for the American hostages in Iran. We want to tell the people of the United States, the government of the United States, and most importantly, the people in the government of Iran, that the American people do not are dissatisfied, they're unhappy, they're outraged at the situation, and they want to say one thing, let our people go. That's what we want to do, is we want to tell the world, let our people go. Christian is hoping to attract 25,000 people to the rally, which will be held in front of the Lincoln Memorial. He's already received a good response from veterans groups, and he's hoping for similar support from other former POWs, whom he said can sympathize with the plight of the hostages and their families. The way they referred to us when we were in Vietnam, where we were detained by a foreign power against our will, and that's exactly what's happening in uh, Tehran right now. We have 53 Americans that are being detained by a foreign power against their will, that's a prisoner, uh, and uh, you may say it's not a prisoner of war, but I would maintain that we are at war. The only question is whether or not we're going to fight. Organizers of the All-America Rally say it will take place on April 12th, whether the hostages are released before then or not. We'd like nothing better than for the rally to be a celebration of the hostages' return, one organizer said, but we don't think that's going to happen soon. Joan Gartland, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Virginia Beach.